Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Greg Nibbler, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, hackers use USB sticks to loot ATMs, NASA shows off a VR-controlled robotic arm, and hundreds of classic Atari games are preserved and playable over the internet. Details are surfacing about a bold hack last year, which allowed thieves in Europe to secretly withdraw cash from automated teller machines. The tech-savvy thieves cut tiny holes in the front of the machines, exposing USB ports where they uploaded malware. After patching up the hole, the thieves were able to rob the infected machines over and over again. The malware installed a secret menu on the machine accessible only to the bad guys. Entering a 12-digit code brought up the menu, and from there they could take as much money as they wanted. And all of this was untraceable, well, except for the fact that there was a whole bunch of missing money. When the banks caught on, they of course upgraded their machines. NASA is well known for spending ridiculous sums of money to develop high-tech gadgets, but these days, the space agency resembles a Silicon Valley startup. That's because NASA is using an off-the-shelf Oculus Rift headset and Kinect sensor to control space robots. It's the first step toward creating a reliable remote control system for robots operating in harsh environments that are hostile to unprotected humans, like outer space. The second gen Kinect sensor allows a greater degree of precision and control, and the Oculus Rift lets the user see what the robot is doing from a first person's perspective. This could lead someday to virtual space exploration, where astronauts can do their work from Earth or the comfort of a spaceship. And finally, if you're old enough to remember Donkey Kong, Frogger, and Space Invaders, or if you just want to see ancient gaming history, check out archive.org. The nonprofit dedicated to preserving media for future generations has expanded their software section to include hundreds of Atari 2600 and 7800 games, and even a handful of ColecoVision titles. These games are playable right on your PC browser through an emulator program. The console classics play just like they did 30 years ago, but unfortunately, you're limited to keyboard controls. The game library has a few horrible games too, like The Dukes of Hazzard and of course, E.T. So if you didn't get that PS4 for Christmas, check out the 8-bit action on archive.org. That's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.